Well, we all know the old saying goes, if these walls could talk, and you can bet the walls at Kennedy High School have quite the story to tell. Oh, you bet. But today, the final chapter was written as the school held its last day of class there ever. And our Larry Spruill was there. Guys, it's a bittersweet day here at Kennedy High School. Today is the last day that this school will be open for business. It will be shutting down after today. But people I talk to say this building is more than just bricks and mortar. This has been my home for 15 years. <laughs> and Gina Newell says she loved every minute of it. You know, kids come through and they have memories of this place and I have memories of them. But Friday, those memories will be just that. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> memories. That's because the high school she has called home for the last 15 years will shut its doors for the last time. All right, bye. So it's just, it's just not a good day. Not a good day for us. It's been difficult. Friday, I sat down with Principal Tommy Saylor. We knew um, when we started this year, we wanted to make this year special. They knew two years ago that this day would come. That's because the population in Taylor <laughs> declined. Yeah, and the two high good. schools felt yeah. the wrath. The community that was very heavily invested in the auto industry. Um, so we started losing people, we started losing students. Now both we Kennedy and Truman High too. School will become one school called Taylor High School. There will be a new mascot and school colors. A new beginning, but today it's a tough ending. You know, we understand um, you know, all good things must come to an end. And all things must come to an end indeed. But there is good news for this story. The stu students, teachers, and staff members here, they will be going to the new high school, Taylor High School, starting in September. We're live in Taylor tonight. Larry Spruill, Local 4. Yeah, you can imagine it's tough when students leave after just a few years, so you can imagine the staffers that have been there for so long. And uh, Larry, does that include the staffers that are moving the principal as well? Well, yeah, the principal, he is accepting a new job as a principal in Western Michigan. That is where he is from. So he tells me that starting in September, he will be starting a new chapter, more like a homecoming for him yeah. in his hometown. Yep. Headed home. All right, Larry, we appreciate it.